Hello everyone and welcome back to TigerFlow GPS. In this video we will configure a booster from a new quote that we have created. From the quote screen click item actions and new item select pump. This will bring us to the booster configuration screen. Please enter the system flow and discharge pressure. Under the system type please select booster or flooded. Select boost if you have 20 or more PSI of incoming suction pressure. Otherwise, you will need to select flooded. Please contact our applications department for all suction lift applications. If you have selected boost, please enter your minimum and maximum suction pressure. Select duplex or triplex in the flow split option. Please note that 3 PSI is included for system friction losses. On the right hand side, please select all pumps that you would like to be included in the pump selection and then press the select pumps button shown below. You will see a list of pumps appear on your screen. These pumps are arranged by efficiency with the most efficient pump at the top of the list. Please select the best suitable pump for your application. The curve of the pump you selected will appear on your screen. Confirm you have selected the correct pump and then click the Option Selection page under the Configuration menu near the top of your screen. The left side of the Option Selection page will show the components of the booster system that you have configured. On the right hand side we will enter additional options for this booster system. Let's start by entering the voltage. The system will default to a Red Lion HMI. Only select an Eaton HMI if you know that the system will not need to interface with a building automation system. If you will be interfacing with a building automation system, please select the protocol used. Both BACnet and Modbus are available as options. Next, select ODP or TEFC motor enclosures. Then select the expansion tank option and where it will be mounted in relation to the pumping system. Click the red recalculate button if it appears. At this point we have configured an entire system. Click save and then save as from the pull down menu. Please join us for our next video where we will build a submittal from a configured booster system in TigerFlow GPS.